Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very easy tutorial on how you can make glowing eyes in Adobe Photoshop from an existing photo. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, I opened up my photo in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, the entire Adobe suite is currently 65% off for students and teachers. So if you are a student or teacher, make sure to check the link in the description. So the first thing you want to do is import your picture and you want to make a new layer. Now you want to zoom into the eyes and we're basically going to trace the shape of the eye. So I'm going to do it one by one. So in this case, I'm going to use the pen tool, but you can use the lasso tool or the quick selection tool. But in this case, I like to be a little bit more precise and I'm going to make it with the pen tool. So you want to trace the inside of his eye. So I'm not going to his eyelashes or anything like that, just the inside of his eye. So after I uh, made the shape, I'm going to right click press fill path and I'm going to make it white. And now you can uh, start with the other one. So I'm going to press backspace so that the path is gone and I'm going to start with the next one. I'm going to make a new layer for this as well. And we're going to do the same thing and we're going to press fill as well. And then I'm going to press backspace to remove the path. And here we go. So right now the eyes aren't glowing. So we're just going to make it glow. So I'm going to work with the left eye first so we can right click on that layer. I think it's this one. We're going to right click, press blending options. And depending on what color you want it, you're going to select a different color, but we're going to use outer glow and we're going to use inner glow. So I already actually have the settings selected. So I'm just going to reset it to default so you guys can follow along with me. So the first thing you want is you want the spread to be zero. When the spread isn't zero, there's like a solid border. You want it to be a soft border. You also want to increase the size make sure the technique is softer. Um, and then depending on how strong you want the glow, you can do that. The inner glow is the inside of the shape. So in this case, uh, you can't see it because the blend mode is screen, but if you turn it to uh, normal, you can see it. And I would only use this if you actually want color involved with uh, your eyes. But to be honest, I would just keep it white as well. Let's just say you want to make it colored. You would just change the outer glow color to a color like this and you would make the size bigger so you can actually see it. And then there you go. And one thing you may notice is the edge right here, it's not really soft, it's, it sort of looks awkward. So we're gonna select on the eraser tool and we're gonna make sure the hardness is zero. And we're basically just gonna slowly erase the corner and any edge that there is, just to make it a little bit softer. So now it's a little bit better. And we're gonna do the same thing with the right eye. You can right click on this layer and just copy layer style and we can paste it on the right eye so we don't have to make the changes again i'm gonna erase this as well and the last thing you can do is you can make a new layer and you can either apply a glow underneath each eye or add a glow on top of each eye so what i mean by this is if you want it to be a little bit brighter you can use your brush tool and select white and just click on top of the eye so in this case the layers on top i could also move it under but either way it um, enhances how it looks like and that's basically it for this tutorial. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you guys want to join my Discord channel, it's going to be in the pinned comment. There's over 600 different creators from people who are photographers, graphic designers, video editors, all that sort of stuff. So check out the pinned comment and the description. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.